Hello and welcome to another awesome and interesting episode of Know Your Faith series. I am Collins and today we'll be talking about the gospel formation. Uh, we all know the gospels, yeah, so how were they formed? And that's what we'll be talking about on today's show. So the gospel consists of the first four books of the New Testament, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And the term gospel is gotten from the Anglo-Saxon term gospel, meaning good news or good story or good telling. Okay, um, the first three Gospels, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke, are referred to as the Synoptic Gospels. And this is simply because uh, when you lay their texts like, next to each other, you find out that there's um, similarities between the writings. But however, um, John is narrated quite differently. So we recall that the Gospels, all of them came after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ. So they were written with the end in mind essentially knowing that Jesus came to defeat death and sin. So the gospel, in other words, um, records the life and teaching, death and resurrection of Jesus as told by the disciples who knew and loved him. So it is essentially a story of Jesus told in faith and for faith to inspire us to believe in him. So we know that not everything Jesus said at the time, or at the, if, if you read the gospel, you realize that not everything he said at the beginning was really understood or he did. For example, when he said that he was going to um, destroy the temple and rebuild, it in, and rebuild it in three days, the disciples did not really understand what he meant by that, not until later on. Um, so how were the gospels formed? They, in the CCC in um, paragraph 426, it tells us that there are three stages of the gospel formation. First is the life and teaching of Jesus. So basically this simply relates to the life and teaching of Jesus depending on the witness of the apostles, members of his in intimate circles. So these were stories um, passed on from um, essentially from Jesus himself to the um, apostles, all he said and all he did. Second, is, second stage is the oral tradition. Now this came after the um, ascension. Enlightened by the Holy Spirit, the apostles preached boldly. And if you can recall, that is the day that is referred to as the birth of the church. Um, they wanted to know who he was and have access to the mystery of God's life through faith in Jesus and baptism. And the third stage is in the written gospels. So the writer selected both the um, oral and the written materials to prepare this text, all being inspired by the Holy Spirit, organizing all that they had heard in order for them to write effectively to a diverse audience. We know that um, the Bible has not been changed right from like from the beginning of time, right from the beginning till now. So it was written in such a way that irrespective of time, people would be able to relate and understand. So um, if we look at the time range of the first gospel. The first gospel was written between um, 66 AD to 70 AD. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, Jesus died 33 AD. That's like a difference of 33 to 37 years. So this tells you a lot that the Gospels were not rushed in any way, but they actually took their time to write all that had happened. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Um, here's a question for you. Please, I already stated that um, the first Gospel was written in the year, between the years of 66 to uh, 70 AD, right? So what was that Gospel? Please find out and let us know in the comment section. Until I come your way next time, be bold and be Catholic.